here with another tutorial, yay. This one is one that I posted on Instagram today, the day that I'm filming this. I posted this picture and um, I got a lot of requests asking for a tutorial, so here we go. This is using the Battle Lash Sauce Box Palette and I picked this up at Fame Expo um, and I hauled it last week in my haul and these shadows are just amazing. They're just like crazy pigmented, crazy beautiful, crazy blendable. I just, mm, I love them. They're so good. This is literally a really, really easy eye look to create. If you guys want to see how I got it, then just keep watching. So I started off by moisturizing my face. I don't know if you can tell um, in this lighting, but it's really dewy looking right now. It looks extremely oily, but that is because I used the Josie Marin, I'm trying to get it, Josie Marin Argan Infinity Intensive Creamy Oil. Um, I've talked about this before on my channel saying that it's amazing for moisturizing your skin over the night, but saying that it is not awesome, that it is not awesome for underneath your makeup because it is quite greasy, but my skin has been dry as something that is dry and I'm just sick of having no glow people I want my glow so I'm trying to go for that so I put that on and then some of the makeup forever mist and fix spray I'm also going to take my Christian Dior creme de rose then I'm going to go in with my paint pot by Mac as usual this is laying low and I'm just going to conceal the crap out of my eyelids I've got a lot of redness right now on my eyelids because I have like some kind of eczema situation. What else is new? My skin is always freaking out in one way or another and this is its way of doing it today. Then I'm going to take my Anastasia Contour shade in Banana and I'm just going to set my eye primer and just kind of make sure everything is nice and smooth so that when we put the shadow on um, it's much easier to apply. You can use the translucent powder for this or whatever but this is what I had in front of me so... That's what we're doing. So today, of course, we were using the Sauce Box palette, um, the Battle Ash version. So first, I'm going to take this shade here. This is called, I just looked at it, Winter Brown. And I'm going to just lay that down as like a transition. It's like a cooler version of most shades that you would use for a transition shade. But it actually looks really cool with the rest of the shades in the palette. So we gonna do it. Next I'm gonna take cinnamon right here next to that winter brown and I'm going to just kind of mix that with the winter brown in the crease but rather than taking this all the way everywhere like I did I'm gonna focus it right in the crease and on kind of the upper part of the lid area and then going back with that first shade and just softening everything and blending it really well. These shadows are so ridiculously good. <laughs> so for the lid color I'm going to take what is this? Enigma down here. It's very similar to cinnamon but it's like coppery metallic instead of just being matte. So I'm going to throw that all over the lid. I love this shade. If you have green eyes, actually if you have blue eyes too, if you have eyes at all this will look really really cool with your eye color. So that is it for the top of the eyes. I'm going to go do my complexion and then come back and do the lower part. So yeah. So now that my complexion is done, I want to go ahead and do my lower lash line. First, I'm going to take this winter brown shade again on a fluffy brush. Oh my gosh. On a fluffy brush like this. And I'm just going to focus that underneath my eyes. I want to kind of bring the idea of this blown out brown down underneath my eyes and it's going to help there to be a little bit of shadow in between the color that I'm going to put on my lower lash line and my skin, if that makes sense. Really you can skip this step if you want to, I just prefer the way that it looks. And then I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is called Nova. And I'm going to take this little tiny short shader brush and just place that about three quarters of the way from outside in. And stop about there-ish. 
But then I'm going to take this green shade called Electro. This is like one of the first things that caught my eye about this palette. This, this shade of green is like my life. I buy everything in this shade of green that I can possibly find and I love it. So I'm going to apply that on the rest of my lower lash line and then blending it into this um, purple color down there. I'm also going to bring this up into my inner corner. Then I'm going to take that fluffy brush again with that winter brown and I'm just going to softly blend everything out. Don't stick the brush in your eye, Sarah. I'm going to line my waterline with this Jane Cosmetics creamy as crazy heck liner. So I'm just going to line my waterline with that guy. Next, I'm going to take this Too Faced mascara. It is my favorite of the moment. I just cannot get enough of this mascara. The only thing that I don't 100% love about it is the shape of the brush, but it's not a big deal. It's just a little bit clunky. And I'm just throwing on a quick coat on the top lashes too. I feel like this is a waste of a really good mascara just because I'm about to throw lashes on, but Oh well. So I'm going to start with my lips by concealing the line, my lip line I guess. Um, I'm going to use my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer. This seems weird but it actually really really helps because I have really undefined lines here. I have, it's like my lips just kind of fade into the rest of my face. So this helps to kind of separate the lip color from my skin if that makes sense. Plus it's cute. So see how it kind of makes this ridge pop a little bit? It just helps to make everything look less like fuzzy. So I'm going to use this um, Makeup Forever Aqua Lip and the shade is in 10C. I love this. It's kind of like a eggplant color. Then I'm going to go in with my um, Galactic Matte Lip Paint. I told you guys I'm obsessed with this formula. This shade is Divine. A lot of people don't even line their, sorry my stool is really creaky, it's the throne from my drum set and it's just like, it's old and rickety. Anyway, a lot of people don't use a liner with this, but I like to just because. So that is the finished look with the lip and face and everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you could see how easy it is to create this look. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'll put that down below. It's just xsarahnicolexx. Um, I post a lot of looks there that I don't do here necessarily. Um, I usually use that for more like artistic looks or like spur of the moment kind of things. So anyway, follow me on Instagram if you're not already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!